I, I think you've all by now seen that uh, many employees of the, of the Capitol express concern to human resources about their safety following some comments by another member. As per our policy with the discussion that we really started at the beginning of this year with the Capital Culture Committee, um, the leadership went to an outside counsel, outside law firm, to look into those threats. That outside law firm delivered a memo, which was not provided to us, um, that said that the threat was credible and that the best practice is to remove a person from the workplace until the threat of violence can be resolved during the investigation. Unfortunately, uh, those of us that were members of the caucus, staffers perhaps that had filed those complaints, were not made aware of that until Aubrey posted an article, uh, which ironically posted at the same time we were voting on the Capital Culture Bill. And it was uh, upsetting and concerning that that had happened. So what I want to be clear about is that my request was very simple. It was not to censure the other senator. It was not to expel the other senator. It was simply that we comply with the direction that was given to us by outside counsel because we have an affirmative responsibility to maintain a safe work environment. All of our employees have the right to work in a place where they are free of harassment, hostility, and fear. We've just paid a million dollars because we hadn't gotten it right before. At this point, on the last day of session, given where we started on the first day of session, I would have hoped that it was better. So my request was that he just stay off the floor until we can get through the process. Yesterday, he agreed to do that. Uh, and I appreciated Senator Birchiger and Senator Courtney um, encouraging him to do so. This morning, that was not the case. Um, I requested that maybe there be a conduct committee, an emergency conduct committee, to do to approve these interim safety measures that were talked about at length during the conduct committee process. That was denied. Um, I asked that uh, Senator Boquist be able to vote on the bills, much as I did, that he could stay off the floor and either come in and vote as the votes were called, or that he could vote at the end of the day through a rule suspension. That also was denied. Uh, what I was told and others were told were if you feel unsafe, if you feel uncomfortable, you can leave. That's not the way that it's supposed to work. It is the second time I have been told that in this building in the last couple of years. Um, and also the attorney, the legislative counsel, um, in the Bully Agreement, uh, it said that these Rule 27 um, issues, I believe it's page six, section seven, says that legislative counsel is not to participate in them. It was legislative counsel that was advising us. So my absence from the floor was not because I was concerned that I was in immediate harm. It was that I'm concerned that we continue to have employees and members and members of the public and members of the lobby that come here and feel unsafe. And if we have gone through everything that we have gone through over the course of the past year, and the response to someone making threats to kill people and then doubling down on them when giving the opportunity to explain is to say, if you don't like it, you can leave, we haven't made any progress at all. I could not be part of that. And so um, it was agreed that I could stay off the floor, add my votes later. Uh, I think what you saw play out through the day is a really important message about workplace harassment. Too often, the person or the people that experience that harassment, and I, did, I have not received a, a threat from, from Senator Boquist. I want to be very clear. This is about the institution. But in general, uh, the recipient of threats or harassment is asked to leave. They pay the consequence, and their workplace does not get the benefit of their work. And we saw that as votes went different ways today. And I was being taken to account on Twitter and other places for not being there to cast these votes. I was taking the only safety measure that was offered to me. When I came back, um, the Republicans vocally wanted to deny me the ability to cast a vote that uh, was set up that way as a safety measure. And further, what was perhaps most offensive of all was the call of the Senate. They're knowing that I was off the floor as a safety measure because the person who created the safety issue wasn't off the floor and tried to compel me to come to a place that I had been excused from because another member had made threats of violence. 
that is a problem with our culture. That is a problem that the other caucus needs to address. That is a record that they built for themselves today. And I'm deeply disappointed in that.